Some of the jurors explain their decision to choose second degree murder instead of first degree murder. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at the criminal courthouse as well with more on what the jurors had to say today. Lauren. Hi there, Robin and Erica. Well, most of these jurors did not want their faces shown. Some spoke timidly, timidly, but all sounded confident in their decision to convict Jason Van Dyke of second degree murder. As a police officer, a trained officer who'd been on doing his work for about 20 years, that he should have realized what the situation was and instead of escalating the situation, should have at least looked at other options. He was a trained professional of 20 years. To me, he should have thought more carefully. I thought everything went the way it should have went. What do you mean by that? Never thought they would have a first degree. I didn't think they could get him on first degree. Second degree was a mitigating factor that in Mr. Van Dyke's mind, he was doing the right thing. He was, um, he was experiencing a, an extreme threat. In his mind, that's how he's experiencing it. And um, he felt like he needed to protect himself. I feel that we gave a good verdict. We looked at all the evidence and we ruled on it accordingly. Now, jurors say they chose not guilty on that count of official misconduct because they felt Van Dyke had the right to carry and use his weapon as a police officer. Coming up at 6, hear why some of them felt it was a mistake that Van Dyke went on the stand in his own defense. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live inside the Layton Criminal Courthouse, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, thanks, Lauren.